Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. Remove the master window switch. We'll use a plastic prying tool. You can get this from 1A Auto. This way we don't damage the trim. Kind of gently slide it up in here. Help pop it up off the clips. And there's a clip on this side, so I'm going to work it in. So I'm basically just trying to pull it straight up off of these white clips here and then these clips here that push into the door panel. So the lock on the connector is here, so push that in and pull the connector out. Use my plastic trim tool to help me. It's kind of a small clip. So I'm gonna push it in and I'm going to remove the small trim it's on top of the door panel. Use the plastic trim tool again. Get underneath here. Gently pry it off. You can almost access the mirror, but we'll take the rest of the door panel off. Screw behind the door pull handle. There's a plastic trim that's covering it. So again, use the plastic trim tool. Go in here, pop this out. Four clips, pops right out. Use a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the screw. Inside the door pull handle, there's this little felt pad. We'll lift that up and get it out of here. And there's a Phillips head screwdriver sitting right in the bottom there. It needs to be removed. To remove this push clip, you actually take a small flat bladed screwdriver, you push in on it, that unlocks it. Then I'm going to use the plastic trim tool to pop it up and out. The door panel should now just be clipped in place with those screws removed. There's clips along the outside edge. To take them off, you're going to have to start usually at the bottom of the door because the top of the door rolls over the sheet metal and give it a good pull to try to separate it. And then lift it up. Door cables for the lock and the pull handle are connected. So this top one is the lock. So it's a white cable. I'm going to push it up to unlock it and then move it over. Slide that little lead ball out of there. And the green one is for the door pull handle. So pop that up and out and then pull these out. These are called Bowden cables. And we put the door panel aside. Unplug the mirror harness, push up on the lock, it's on the bottom, and pull the connector right out. To unbolt the mirror, there's three studs with 10 millimeter nuts on them. Use the 10 millimeter socket extension, ratchet, and loosen them all up. The mirror is clipped in place. Take the mirror off. So it is clipped in there. So right here, so I'm just gonna give it a good little tug here. Here's our upgraded Trail Ridge towing mirrors we have for the vehicle. So they, these are slightly larger. They have a manual extension for towing. And then you'll just push them back in, flip them over. These particular ones have blind spot monitoring included and heated and power. They also have the extra mirror at the bottom that is manually adjusted to where you want it to be. It will stay that way. These ones will adjust with the power. And then on the outside, this one has the smoked turn signal and marker light bulb. 
These particular ones are plug and play. These will work great and fit great on your vehicle. You can install the trail ridge. These are plug and play tow mirrors. They'll install just like the original. Put the studs through the openings in the door. I'm gonna hold it because it doesn't have a clip. It does help to have the window down so you can go through. Got one of the nuts ready to go. I'll get it caught on the stud here. It's easy to access. I'll just thread it down with my fingers so the mirror doesn't fall off the door. There we go. The other nut's caught. Just tighten them down. I don't want to pull the studs out of the mirror. So once I feel them get tight, I'll stop. Do the same for the other two. Finally, plug it back in. Reinstall your door panel. This will be the same for both sides. Hook up the white Bowden cable goes on the top for the lock. Pull the ball through here, clip it in place. The green one is for the door handle. Same way, put it in, clip it in place. Top of the door panel has a hook to it. It will hang on the sheet metal. Get it started up top first. Put it down. It'll clips will push into place. Make sure that your wire is accessible to your master window switch. A little plastic push clip. After you've pushed it in, you can push it back out and reuse it. You go right in and lock in place. I reinstall the screw here. Reinstall the one on the door handle. Put this trim back in place. It's got some clips. Open up the door handle. Kind of line it up. Snap into place. Put your little felt pad back in there. Triangle piece back on. Just push into place. Master window switch. Plug it in. Push it in, it locks. And then the door panel it snaps into place. Get to the running lights. And turn signals. Telescoping for towing. And adjustment. And this one will manually adjust. These do have heat, but there's no real way to show that in the video, unfortunately. And if your truck is equipped with blind spot monitoring, these mirrors do have that option. These mirrors are manual fold. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.